What is going on, my good people? This is your main man, Ben, here. Today, guys, we're going to talk about some gears that I think geared towards vloggers. Since spring break is here, summer is fast approaching, um, I have some projects, upcoming projects, I must say, that requires a little bit more preparation since we're already invested on this projects. Uh, it means that we're going to travel and that being said, I want to test out all the equipments using on my newer equipments and maximize everything that I got, meaning um, try to use the older equipment to make it work on the newer one. However, I want to see and find out if it's best to invest on newer equipments or use my current setup. So the dilemma is, uh, I don't want to spend anymore, but I don't want to waste my time pondering in it and regretting it later after, you know, all said and done. But these are the projects that I'm going through. And that being said, we're going to test everything out using our new camera. Yes, you see that the new Sony CVE-10. I think this camera is really meant for vloggers or content creators, but we got a separate video from that one. And uh, I must say this camera is amazing for video recording. Um, it's very small and compact, very light. Um, it's so light that I have to buy a bigger case or cage in it. You can see it's uh, made by small rig because the camera is way too small and uh, small rig offer a grip for the camera and a metal case to put in all of the accessories such as the microphone in here and um, you know that plate down here for your tripod if you want to put it separately also the cve 10 is amazing because if you want to you know if you're a tiktoker or whatever um, <laughs> you can use this camera on a portrait mode without using a extra plate of course you can mount the extra plate down here but this side right here looks like a plate that you can just uh, i believe it's an arca swiss type ball head tripod or that type of uh, um, you know tripod head that you can just uh, slap it in here without using any plates so this camera is amazing but that being said we are going to test out two tripods um as you can see my ever trusted gorilla pod um i've used this in 2019 believe it or not on my g 85 days with lumix i used this to travel the world it never failed me however it's a little bit outdated and uh after 2019 we are looking at four years later i only use this tripod for uh light stands in the studio or some occasional vlogging but I'm trying to get into vlogging now. And the other one is the eye footage feet or leg uh, from my monopod coming from that, you know, eye footage monopod. So technically we're gonna use this like this, holding it this way and see if it's worth it to swap or bring this halfway across the world or just stick with the old and traditional, you know, gorilla pod. Um, let's get into the meat. Now for testing purposes, we're gonna weigh in a couple of things that we are trying to get into when we vlog. First off, the camera itself, I got the OSS, um, you know, uh, OEM lens, I'm stuttering here, plus the microphone without the dead cat and see if, how much would it weigh? one point it looks like 1.52 pounds it has a little weight in it you can see 1.52 it's not that bad now we go in to the gorilla pod which is you know somewhat metal in here on the top and then some plastics and rubbers makings on the body and it's plate up here Point eighty six pounds and this is the eye footage all metal metal head metal everything um, this I tell you that it's mm, right there 
It's also metal. This is where you put it into the bottom of your camera and no problem with security here, guys. This thing will hold a lot of weight. Um, let's weigh it in real quick. 1.39 or 1.4 pounds. So overall, you're gonna be carrying this both a little bit more weight versus the Gorillapod. So this round, for weight reasons, Gorillapod wins it. On this round, guys, we're gonna see how long would it be um, holding the tripod with the camera because it does make an impact for that extra reach that you, you know, extend your arm. That way you got more field coverage in your camera. Now, this is going to be the Gorilla Pod from its bottom to the top. You exactly have around almost one feet, almost one feet. Somewhat extended like this, because you're holding it like, you know, towards you. The eye footage, I believe, will not win on this one. At around, at eight inches. So it's short by three inches versus the Gorillapod. So we tested both on weight and its reach. It looks like it's leaning towards more on the Gorillapod since, uh, you got the weight, you get the reach, and everything else. But let's go to its ease of use. If you switch and if you go into like the actual vlogging, like what we said, the run and gun type. Now, I believe this is where the eye footage starts to defeat the Gorilla Pod, just because of this um, base layer that they have. If you untangle this one real quick, you remove it you have to press this down. And it's very heavy duty, guys, I'm telling you. There's no way you can remove this on your own using one hand. You gotta hold both, because it's just like that tension of the spring. And on top of that, this one right here has a thread. I believe this is 5 8 to 3 8 So it extends, and you do not need any extra tool. Now, if you're going to mount it underneath the cage, it's so easy. You just have to thread it like this. Voila, and that's it. You are ready to vlog. Hook it up in here, there. And this is how it goes in with the camera. Now, different story with this guy right here. You're gonna need an extra hand for this. Now the ease of use for this one, it's so easy because you can just press this and it slides out. Very easy. The problem here is the mounting of this guy. It's made of plastic, by the way. You have a leveler here, but it's all plastic. The only metal you see here is this guy, which threads to the bottom of your camera. Now you pick the one that you want to install it. If you do not have a coin, you got to have a flathead screw to lock it in. This is one of the uh, thing that I do not like about the Gorilla Pod, since if you're on the go, then you're gonna have to have a reliable flathead or at least a coin that fits properly on this lock. Next step is you just have to slide this, boom, just like that. You are up and ready for vlogging. Look at that reach. Joby tripod is a very tested one. See if you start vlogging outside and if you look at this, hey guys, what's happening? Um, you're gonna be looking at a very light setup and it's very well tested. And I got my neighbor putting some yard work but other than that, you can see the reach for the Joby and you can just set it up anywhere you like. And if you want shots like different angles, easily set up, put it into, you know, like, like that. And then you start walking and you start talking like. This is Palawan El Nido. 
if you can hear me but I'm wearing another mic but other than that this is how it looks like for the Joby tripod this is very light setup I don't think you can beat this Joby tripod I think is the king we'll see about that next up is going to be the eye footage so how I use it um, you know not much of a length but it's very handy if you have a smaller hand you can just use one of the feet or the leg of the eye footage but if you have bigger hands you can actually use both and start vlogging this way but other than that this is how it looks like with an arm's reach for vlogging so this is going to be the eye footage guys i don't know if you're gonna like this but this is how it looks like with arms lengths and hopefully this would help out which one we're going to bring the sun is so high right now but other than that this is how it looks like if you put it into a different angle it has this feet ball head and very easy setup bam three stages by the way and other than that this is how it looks like for eye footage and i don't know if you can hear this but for angles such as that you have somebody who is showing in the background this is how it looks like but i'll throw in a little more curveball using this eye footage check this out the caveat for the eye footage is it comes with this tripod i mean monopod and you can just simply hook this up in here and connect this on top of it i'll show you real quick you put this on its base done ball head angle you can just you know adjust accordingly take your camera and put it on top of it you see that you see how versatile this is it's simply just amazing i'm not advising you to use this as for vlog stick but this added an extra different type of angle if you're traveling it's extendable of course it's monopod to this height let's put it here on a very much more stable concrete And this is how it looks like for the monopod using the eye footage it's kind of nerve-wracking but it's locked in all you gotta do is put in a little weight down here and you should be good to go so that being said i think currently right now i am using the eye footage and everything would be like as is this is the regular usage with the arm lengths that i'm using right now and i think with the versatility that it gives with the big stick for the monopod um, eye footage definitely gives a little bit of advantage in terms of angle uh, versatility when you travel and you get an extra stick or you can extra angle that you can mount the camera in and make it work to your advantage but I think I'm leaning towards more on the eye footage tell me guys what you think and uh, um, we'll see what happens and for comparison sakes this is the Joby Gorilla tripod I mean yeah the pod and I can tell there is that three inch does make a difference in terms of you know um, the reach and also the grip of the Joby definitely wins it's slimmer of the profile of it and it's non-metallic and you get extra more grip because of the natural circular pattern of the legs of the Joby tripod um, yeah other than that whew, it's gonna be tough and it's very warm out here thank you it's spring is here look at this spring Woo! so to wrap things up guys having all the information regarding the Joby tripod and the eye footage there are pros and cons between these two um, let's start with 
the eye footage. This is pure metal. Like there's only a couple of hardcore rubber in here. Um, you can see that, you know, bottom plate and the bottom leg, each leg has this thick, very thick rubber, as you can see. And this thing will probably hold 30 pounds easy, but we're not dealing with any DSLRs with those big bricks, like the 2470 for the cannons, like very heavy duty ones. We're only dealing with a mirrorless camera with little, you know, microphone and a small lens, maybe a Sigma. But the major thing about this, it's it's weight. It's almost equal as the DSLR or the mirrorless camera that we have. Other than that, that would be the only thing. Oh, one more thing then. The way you hold it, it's not as comfortable as, you know, the Joby tripod because it's metal. It's like it's like a gun maybe this thing can be a weapon for real you can just whack someone or a cow or you know a rabid animal you know try to attack you when you're in the trail but other than that weight and how you hold it but owning this now for like four years i kind of like getting used to it you know putting some gimbals as well um, in the bottom, you can put, it can carry that gimbal and a camera as well. I used to have the Xeon Crane, the second generation, but uh, I have get rid, rid of, of those things. But other than that, like what I said, you can hold it one-handed like this, or you can hold it three of them at the same time. But that would be the only cons I can think about this. Joby tripod. I think this is the staple of vloggers. Um, Casey Neistat, uh, the infamous Casey Neistat introduced this. I believe I was exposed to it because of Casey, but this is old school proven tripod. Um, it's very comfortable to hold. You can just hold it like this. It's bendable, you know, to any directions. And it's just that easy to use. Joby tripod is like that cream of the crop a lot of companies now are introducing you know trying to dethrone joby tripod but for ease of use this is proven this is the one that you should have and there's a reason why because you can just snap it in and just you know get it over with but there's some drawbacks um it's plasticky it's robbery and what I don't like most about this is this thing is metal, the ball joint down here, but the top and the base plate that holds the camera is all plastic. One wrong move, it could crack, it could fall, and this runs out really quick. The joint on the base of the leg holding the ball head of you know, the tripod is getting really loose, but mine's is a little bit, you know, there's tension still, but during, you know, the course of your usage, it'll wear out really fast. And on top of that, you can only, you know, operate on this type of, you know, length and reach. But other than that, that would be the only thing I can think of, you know, with the Joby tripod. Now, my recommendations. Overall guys, if you're a straight up vlogger, you don't want to take any cinematic B-rolls or filming other people or, you know, with other steady shots that, you know, taking landscapes, B-rolls and all that stuff. Um, straight up, just go get the Joby tripod if you intend to film yourself only and that's the purpose of your travel, of your trip, get this and get it over with. But if you have other intentions of getting really nice cinematic b-rolls the versatility of this one is just insane um with the monopod and on top of that while you operate and you know switching that smooth transitions you can adjust the tension of this ball head and you know having all that tension and, and smoothness you can actually direct it on a smoother path while it's planted in the ground solidly and you can just pan the camera left and right or maybe up and down there's just a lot more versatility on this one 
but drawback is a little bit more weight in it they do have a carbon fiber version but uh i i myself do not like carbon fibers for some reason um i i still like metals big time but other than that both tripods are amazing it's just your type of shooting for me personally i might be leaning more towards this guy but i hope i was able to contribute guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button always remember god is good all the time this is your main boy peace out